Hello and welcome back to the Stationary Dev. Today we have a little bit of a different one. Um, we are still doing a pen review, but today we're going to be looking at my favorite ballpoint pen, uh, which is the Pilot Acro, or also called the Pilot Acro Ball. Um, so fountain pens are great, we all know that, but sometimes we still need other kinds of pens to get by. Um, in certain situations, things like writing checks, if you still do that. Um, Christmas is coming up, so you'll have to be writing on those uh, labels for Christmas presents, which are sometimes like slick sticker kind of things, um, greeting cards, uh, anything like that. Writing on like plastic bags or anything like that, you're going to need a good ballpoint pen or a different kind of pen. So today we're going to be looking at the ballpoint pen, um, and specifically my favorite one, the Pilot acro or acro ball and i guess technically we're not going to be looking at my favorite ballpoint pen but rather my favorite ballpoint pen refill because both of these have the same uh, refill kind in them so as you can see there's two main styles of the pilot uh, acro or acro ball so uh, we have the acro which is these bottom three here these um are mainly available to the Japanese market, so it's called the Pilot Acro in Japan. Uh, you can see it has Acro there, um, and obviously all the Japanese on the back there goes for 300 yen in Japan. It's about $3 or so US, maybe a little bit less now. Um, but they come in loads of different uh, varieties and styles in Japan. Um, there's more tip sizes available, so we have, I just have here the 0.5 and the 0.7, they also have a 0.3, and, and so different smaller uh, point sizes, is that's what they usually prefer in Japan, they have a lot more detail in their characters to write than we do um, writing English. Um, there's also more body styles, so I just have these cool, you know, clear ones, and then this one that's, um, you know, just all these are plastic. This one's, you know, opaque, just opaque black plastic, but they also have ones made out of metal. They have lots of different um, body styles. They have uh, the Acro. These are all Acro 300s, but they have Acro 500s, uh, Acro 1000s, and those are different body styles. Some of them are made out of metal. So um, depending on what you want, you can, you can find different styles available. Um, the only downside is they are limit. There's kind of limited availability, um, at least if you're purchasing them in the U.S. You kind of have to find a, a pen shop or uh, maybe even like a niche pen shop to get them from. Um, for pens like this, um, I usually go to a pen shop called TokyoPenShop.com, and they have they're really great about stocking you know Japanese stock of of pens, um, ballpoints gel pens, um, roller balls, they even have fountain pens, lots of cool stickers and, and uh, stuff like that too. But that's where I got these from. Um, so like the harder to find pens that you can't find easily in America, um, that's where I go is tokyopinshot.com. So shout out to them. Um, but they do have limited availability, so you might have to dig a little bit to find the Acros. The Acro Ball though, on the other hand, these two here are the ones that are marketed in the United States, and I'm assuming other countries as well. Let me know if you uh, aren't in the United States. Do you have the Acro Ball or do you have the Acro? Um, but I know in the United States, you can just get the Acro Ball. For whatever reason, they added the ball to the name. I don't know if that was to signify that it's a ballpoint, but that's also still confusing because it could be roller ball as well. So... Not sure why they changed the name, but they do that sometimes. Same thing with like the Pilot Capless and Pilot Vanishing Point and so on and so forth. But the U US version is the Pirate Pilot Acro Ball. As you can see, it's a larger profile pen. Um, so it's quite a bit thicker. Uh, it's wider and it has this uh, sort of, I've heard kind of described as like shoe rubber, kind of shoe tread um, grip. But it's a rubber grip with some, some tread there which is very comfortable grip, I've found. I like the shape of it, I like the feel of it. It does its job in getting a good grip for my hand. Um, so I don't know if they're saying we have bigger hands, but these the Acro Balls are a bigger profile. 
there is only two main tip sizes available. So all I've found is the fine and the medium. So the fine is about a 0.7 and the medium is a 1.0 millimeter line. So your typical roller ball sizes in the US is what you get with the Acro balls. Um, there's, like I said, not as much variety in terms of like body colors or styles or anything like that. Although I have seen like some special edition, like artisty kind of uh, bodies and stuff. Um, so, uh, you might, you know, check into that if you'd like the acro balls, but, uh, those are much fewer and far between than the acros. There's a lot more variety in the acros. And also in terms of availability, the acro ball is just about available everywhere now. Um, when they first came out with the acro ball, like the U S marketed version, it was a little harder to find, but now you can find them in target or office depot, office max. Um, you know, I'm sure staples has them, anything like that will have the acro ball. So they're readily available here in the United States. Um, the good thing though, is that they both have the exact same refill, the exact same ink in them. So if we open one of these up, um, I'll do this one first. As far as the construction, the acro ball actually opens in two places. It opens in the middle there, and then it also opens here at the tip for whatever reason. But if we open it up, we can see on the inside, let me get this refill. Try to get the refill in focus. Maybe not. Um, not today. There you go. But you can see Pilot and BRFV10 is the refill name. BRFV10. And then the F or the letter after the 10 signifies the tip size. So F is fine. So I think it's funny they kind of define the sizes by the same size that we use for like fountain pens, but I guess that's to be expected. But fine is 0.7 millimeters. And that, that is the same exact refill as this is in my 0.7 Acro 300. And then we can also see the same exact refill here, but this time since it's a 0.5, you have EF after the 10 there on the refill name. So same exact ink, just different body styles and different tip sizes. Um, the interesting thing about these pens and a couple other ballpoints available from other brands is that they are hybrid ink ballpoint pens. So ballpoint ink is usually kind of gloopy and globby and, and really thick and oily kind of an ink. Um, but these have a different kind of ink, slightly different kind of ink called hybrid ink, where it's kind of in between ballpoint and gel pen ink. Um, so it's a little bit less viscous uh, ink. It flows a lot quicker, a lot smoother, um, and you get just a way better writing experience, but it's still ballpoint ink, so it functions as you would want your ballpoint ink to function. And we'll see how it goes into the uh, writing sample. But basically, you, you, it flows easier. You don't get any of the globbiness and like any of the skipping and stuff that you get from a regular ballpoint and like the railroading that you can sometimes get with a bad ballpoint. And the other thing that I've noticed with these is they don't dry out with non-use or they don't dry out as easy with non-use. I haven't used um, a lot of these pens in months and months and you know, just picking them up and testing them before this video, none of them had any hard starts. I didn't have to like, you know, scribble and try to get it to write like you do with ballpoints where they'll dry out, the tips will dry out. And so you kind of got to get the ink flowing again. These didn't have that problem at all. Um, so like I said, I have these two ones with the sort of clear demonstratory kind of styles. I like these two colors. They're kind of vintagey colors. They also have them in some um, opaque colors and a lot of cool like vintage kind of colors for the acros. And then this one's a see-through for the blue. And then just the regular black ink is just in this white one, which I still think looks like a fine pen. So let's break out a quick writing sample. I'll first do some on some Rhodia paper because that's sort of our standard now. But I mean, I don't know if there's a whole lot to actually look at, but I can at least compare the tip sizes for you. So my thickest tip and my least favorite tip as well is the medium. So the 1.0 Acro Ball, it's the most like a regular ballpoint to me. It doesn't flow as smoothly or as consistently as some of the other tip sizes, but it's still it's still a good one. It still beats a regular ballpoint, I think. Uh, so we have the Pilot Acro Ball. And this is the medium. And it's 
uh, 1.0 millimeter line. So pretty good there, good blue color. Um, but as you can see, it still kind of has some of those like kind of skippy marks and stuff as you would see in a regular ballpoint, but it is really, really, really smooth. Um, it has that hybrid ink in there, so it's less prone to drying out or anything like that. Uh, but you can kind of see, especially with the spirals, you can see some of that skipping there. Um, so that's why it's my least favorite. Then we move on to um, this. This one has the same refill as this one. And I actually kind of like this body style better. Some people might like the bigger one. I like the thinner um, sort of vintage kind of ball point style. The click is like a nice sharp click. Um, nice firm click as well. And so we'll do the next one here. The Pilot Acro 300. And this is the fine or the 0 0.7 millimeter. So comparing these two, you can see that the Pilot Acro has a lot sharper uh, sort of line, a lot less of the sort of skippiness that you see, um, you know, with like the C there, you can see there's not that skip there. Um, there is still some kind of a skippiness to it, but a lot less, and it's a lot more consistent line. Look at the F is perfectly solid, and you can really see it if we look at the uh, spirals here. So this has a, a lot less of those skippy, globby kind of things in the spirals. So that's the 0.7, and then we're going to look at one of the 0.5s as well. So the Acro 300 and the 0.5. Let's check it out. Pilot, Acro 300, and this is, I guess, EF, if you want to call it that, 0 0.5 millimeter line, and do a little spiral test. So there you can see the difference really good between the three different sizes, medium to fine, and then fine to extra fine. And then if we take a look at the extra fine, it performs pretty much the same as the fine to me. And I prefer the finer line. And even though it has some skips in it too, here you can see, but it's a lot less obvious because it's such a tiny line. All right, so that was our writing with on the Rhodia paper, but these are ballpoint pens. So let's do some tests on some copy paper real quick. We have the, do down here, the Pilot. Acro ball medium the pilot acro three hundred fine and the Pilot Acro 300, extra fine, or 0 0.5. Same thing, really good performance on regular paper, as you would expect. It's a ballpoint pen. It's not going to be any see-through or bleed-through or anything like that. So, just so you can see the impression on my writing pad there. So, that's the Pilot Acro ball and Acro refill. There they all are. Um, now other similar pins do exist. So obviously the probably one of the most obvious ones is the Uniball Jetstream. Um, it also is just fine. I'll do a quick writing sample of it too. But the Uniball Jetstream, and this is a zero point seven. So you can kind of compare that to the Acro 300 that's the fine. But to me, I just think the Acro is a lot sharper line, a lot darker, more black line than the Jetstream. So that's why I prefer the Acro. And the Zebra also has a pin called the Blend, uh, which is this thing right here. And it also has a hybrid ink, but I found it to be kind of faint. Um, and it's skipping a little bit there. Maybe not the best comparison. This is 0 0.5, so it's going to be like the EF up there. 
and you can compare the Zebra Blend there to the Pilot Acro 300. I prefer the Pilot Acro over both of these pens, but they're all good pens. So there are other options available, but the Pilot Acros are my preference. And if I'm writing with a ballpoint pen, most of the time it's gonna be with one of these. Um, so if you uh, would like, you know, make sure to leave a comment on your favorite ballpoint pen. Let me know what your favorite ballpoint pen is. I have a lot of regular pens too, in addition to my fountain pen. So if you, I might do a, you know, a favorite ball, like top ballpoint pen video, uh, because I also have a lot of ballpoint pens that I like that aren't the hybrid ink. Um, so that might be a video coming out. Um, and then I can include gel pens and roller balls and that stuff too later. Um, if that is what we want to do. So um, make sure to like, if you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I drop new content every single week. And so liking and subscribing is a free way to help out the channel and also to let you know when I come out with new videos. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.